Welcome everyone. If you are new here, please let me know that you are new, that this is your first time joining me. My name is Ma my name is Jenna Rose Chinetti. I am a powerful, um, loving love coach um, that helps people to focus on their spiritual self, their soul, awakening, consciousness, healing, and so much, so much, so much more. So thank you guys for joining today. I'm this beautiful, powerful Heaven's Cross. I'm excited to be here. Hello, Shanta. And yes, I did get engaged. I did. My nails are all messed up now, but yes, I did. Thank you for asking. Oh, yeah. Well, honestly, Chantel, I haven't been on in a while. Um, I will be completely honest. My life has been beautifully, absolutely beautifully um, busy and filled and just so much. So much has been going on. And I've been just juggling things like a clown, trying to figure out where to pull my energy, where to pull back my energy. And that's a powerful time, you know? And so, you know, one of the things that we're gonna be talking about is, you know, this idea of the new year back in January when we celebrated the new year. But if we think about it, having the new year at the beginning of January in the middle of winter, doesn't actually make sense. Our calendars don't actually make sense. Because if you're anything like me, in the winter, you know, the leaves are no longer on the trees and it's cold and it's, you know, there's a little bit of sadness and stress and hibernation. Everything in our environment hibernates in the winter. Everything in our environment shuts down and turns down in the winter. Yet, for some reason, we have our new year in the middle of winter. And so, the reason I'm mentioning this is because we officially hit the spring equinox. We officially hit spring on Monday. And this is the time that we start to spring into the new year. This is the time that it is powerful intention setting. This is the time when we start to awaken into the new version of us, springing into the new version of us. As the leaves start to grow back in the trees and the seeds in the ground get planted and the flowers start to come up, this is the time to spring up. And so, you know, I was in a little bit of just molding with the seasons, molding with the winter, and now I'm springing back up. So. Thank you for joining and thank you for the congratulations. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. I'm excited to be here today. Today is Heaven's Cross. Who knows what I'm talking about? Who doesn't know what I'm talking about when I say Heaven's Cross? Put it in the chat, put it in the chat. I know, hello, Levi. What's Heaven's Cross? Put it in the chat, Levi, what's Heaven's Cross? Hello, Maddie. Hello, Julie. Hello, Misty Gee. Hello, Chris Wright. Hello. I said hello to you. All of these keep changing. Hello, Emil. Hello, Emmanuel. Hello, Jin Jin. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The star of the opening of the veil to the other realms. Yes, 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 yes. Snaps. So, today is a powerful day. If you are into any spiritual teacher or guru, or if you're just in tuned, there is a knowing that today there is a great awakening that's happening on our planet. Maybe you're feeling it, maybe you're not feeling it, maybe you're feeling really excited, maybe you're just feeling completely exhausted. But there is this idea that today we are opening the veil to the other realm. We are merging closer from physical reality to spiritual reality than we've ever been before. If we've heard about this idea of the new earth, the fifth dimension, the sixth dimension, the seventh dimension, we're getting closer and closer and closer to the veils of the spirit world and the physical world are starting to come together. 
So today what we're going to do is I'm going to keep it super sweet, super simple, and I'm going to guide you guys into a beautiful meditation, a beautiful meditation that's going to help you to merge your consciousness, to awaken, to expand, to become more of who you are, who you've always been, to awaken more to your soul and love and peace and harmony and higher states of consciousness. So who's excited? Put in the chat if you are excited to awaken further to who you've always been and who you will always be. So I will give us about one more minute and then I'm going to dive into the meditation. Um, and then from there, after the meditation, I will answer some, answer some questions. So you can put your questions in the chat. This can be anything from the awakening that we're going through, anything about consciousness, spirituality, to anything about healing, emotional regulation, love, heartbreak, sacred sexuality, um, co conscious communication. Those are my specialties. So stay tuned because today is going to be super exciting. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. All right, everyone. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone, for joining. If this is your first time with me, I want to remind you that you are loved. I want to remind you that you are worthy. I want to remind you that you are deserving. You are good, good you are whole. You are accomplished. You are a full moon. <laughs> I'll tell you a real quick story that just popped up in my mind. I'm also a teacher. Besides my coaching business, I also teach. And yesterday I had those, um, I had like a little half moon on my keychain that fell off. And one of my students found the little half moon on the ground and he said, Miss Jenna, Miss Jenna, is this yours? And I said, oh yeah, that's mine. And he said, I like it, I like it. And I said, oh, you like it, do you want it? And he's like, oh, I wouldn't wanna take that away from you. And I said to him, I go, no, you can have it. I said, if you like it, you can have it. It was just this little plush, like literally like this big, a little plush half moon. And he's like, really, I can have it? And I'm like, yeah, you can have it. He's like, can I keep it forever? And joking around, I said, Yes, you can have it forever under one condition. And the condition is that you have to remember that you are not a half moon, but you are a full moon always. Allow this to be a reminder that you are not half full, but you are a full moon. You are full. You are loved. You are worthy. You are wanted. You are adored. You are full moon. And I was just being playful and sweet. And he goes, really, Miss Jenna, I'm a full moon? I'm a full moon? And I said, yes, you're a full moon. And he goes, oh, I'm a full moon, everyone. And then he went up to all of his friends and at recess and said, look what Miss Jenna gave me. She said, I'm a full moon. I'm not a half moon, everyone. I'm a full moon. And every time I looked over at him, he was just like staring at this like, little plush keychain and he's like thank you so much you're the best teacher and so I share that story it just came up in my mind um because just like that you're a full moon you're not a half moon you're full of love and you're full of compassion and you're full of kindness and you're full of peace and somewhere along our spiritual journey we we tend to forget that we allowed our work and our jobs and our relationship and our health to limit the fullness that we are, the juiciness, the wholeness. But you are a whole soul. You are not a body with a soul, but you are a soul who has a body, who is here for a temporary time experience to experience life, to awaken consciousness. So, just as I told him yesterday, I'm telling you the same thing. You are not half. You are full. Um, yeah, so he, I think he's like 16. So I teach at this residential facility. It's an all boys 
residential facility. The boys live there. It's a very tough gig, but it's very, very rewarding. Um, and it feels good. I'm, I'm there and I'm teaching meditation and I'm teaching mindfulness. I'm teaching all of this in consciousness. I'm teaching the kids um, about, you know, manifestations and creation and, you know, all of that stuff. So, you know, I'm going into schools and I'm teaching consciousness expansion and how to regulate their nervous systems and how to come back into the wholeness of who they are. So that's my story. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So if you're new here, welcome. I love you. We're about to dive into a beautiful, powerful meditation to help awaken the consciousness of our planet, to awaken us to higher realms and awaken the planet as a whole as we start to merge the physical and the spiritual as the veil opens to the other realms. So if you are ready, make yourself comfortable. I'm gonna get a little drink of water. I'm going to start to play a little bit of music and let me know if you can hear my music. And then at the end, I will take some questions and answers. So if this is your first time here, make sure to follow me so that you get all of my up-to-date lives. All right, and let's just do a quick sound check. Let me know if you can hear the music playing in the background. Can you hear the music? Can you still hear my voice? Is the music too loud? Let me know where we're at and then we'll get started. Sound check. And feel free to put any questions in the chat. Okay, can you guys still hear my voice over the music? Is the music overtaking my voice right now? I can hear it's almost perfect sound balance between you and the music right now. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So, I have some binary beats playing in the background, and these binary beats are universal healing. So, let's get started, shall we? So everyone, here we go. Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome to today's beautiful soul expansion and awakening meditation I ask you to please find a seat making yourself comfortable while we expand your consciousness as we expand you to merge the realm between the physical and the spiritual so when you're ready to start to close down your beautiful eyes just sitting up tall or laying down whatever feels most aligned for you today and start to close down your beautiful eyes shutting off your perception of this physical reality and allow yourself to dive deep into your soul, your spirit. Allow everything in your physical reality to start to just skate away now. Give yourself permission now to just let go. For there's nothing to do, there's nowhere to go, but simply to connect deeper to your soul, your spirit, your higher self, merging the realms between physical and spiritual, and take a deep breath into this intention. Holding the breath. And then 
exhaling out. Letting it all go. Continuing to breathe in through your nose. Holding the breath at the top. And exhaling. Continuing to inhale. Resting. Exhaling. And continue this breath pattern. Allowing the breath to bring you into higher states of consciousness. Higher awareness. Higher awakening. More mindfulness. And give yourself the permission that with every sound of my voice and the sound the music to start to let go of this physical reality just a little bit more allowing me and the music to guide you higher and higher merging the realms from physical to spiritual Breathe in, holding the breath, and exhaling, letting it all go. With every inhale, you're breathing in to the spiritual world. And with every exhale, you're pushing away the physical existence. Inhaling up into higher dimension. Exhaling away from the physical realm. Continuing. As thoughts rise, just bring yourself back to the breath, inhaling back into spirit, exhaling away from all. And you may start to call upon any of your guides, any of the non-physical to assist you at this time of awakening. Calling upon the names of any ancestors that have passed on into the non-physical world. Calling on them to guide you Calling upon any master teachers, such as Jesus, Buddha, Allah, Radha Krishna, any master teacher that you align with. Calling upon the archangels to hold the space. Calling upon Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Oreo, Archangel Metatron. Calling 
calling upon the angels to hold the space. Calling upon any spirit animals that you're feeling the presence with. Calling upon any other non-physical energies, such as the Syrians, the Pleiades, the Asasanis, any extraterrestrials that you may identify with. Allowing this to be your personal journey of ascension and awakening. Setting the ceremony now to greater awakening. Breathing in. Starting to feel yourself ascending higher and higher as you look down at earth underneath you, feeling yourself rising away from earth, noticing that as you ascend and you feel the vibration ascension, moving higher and higher, still there is a cord attached down each and every chakra, moving down through your root, holding you still down to Mother Earth, still connected to the Earth as you ascend higher and higher into spirit. Notice how your body feels. Notice how your physical body may have skated away as you're skating into the matter and the energy of all that is. Skating into all of space. the energy 
feeling. Moving in and out of space.
allowing the sounds that surround you to bring you deeper into mindfulness. Revealing the veil between the physical and the non-physical. Allow the sounds and the songs of the birds to carry you down back into your body. Allowing yourself to come back to planet Earth. Back to Earth. Bringing back higher states of consciousness. of the veil, the merging of awakening, bringing your awareness to the crown of your head, your crown chakra, bringing your awareness to the violet light that surrounds your crown chakra, bringing back your connection to spirit, allowing yourself to gently fall down to earth, little by little, moving down into your third eye chakra, seeing the beautiful indigo light, bringing back with you increased intuition, your ability to see beyond the physical realms and into the spirit, allowing yourself to come deeper down, bringing your awareness down into chakra, picturing and bringing back a beautiful blue light, bringing back your ability to communicate your truth, communicate your authentic expression, to communicate higher consciousness on planet Earth. Allowing yourself to skate down farther and farther to earth. Moving down into your heart chakra. Feeling the beautiful green light in your heart. Bringing back higher states of love. Unconditional love. Feeling all of life, feeling the peace, feeling the connection, the balance point that merges spirit to earth, opening and expanding your heart. And allow yourself to fall deeper down to earth, moving down into your solar plexus, visualizing the beautiful yellow light two inches above your belly button, bringing back your discipline, your creativity, bringing back your trusting and your connection to all that you digest in 
this physical reality. Bringing back your ability to control only yourself while also letting go of the need to control the external physical reality. Allowing yourself to fall deeper down to earth now. Moving into your sacral chakra two inches below your belly button near your beautiful pelvis and seeing the beautiful orange light awakening into your creative self all of creation that has been birthed and manifested into this physical reality bringing back an awakening to the powerful creator that you are, the God, goddess, source, creator energy that you are, connected to your higher self, bringing your God, goddess self down to planet Earth. Allow yourself to move deeper down back into earth now. Bringing your awareness to your root chakra. Bringing back your grounding into this physical plane. Coming back stable, secure, rooted into Mother Earth. Bringing back your connection to Mama Gaia, Mama Pachamama. Having gratitude for the earth that holds you, supports you, gives life to you. Recognizing that you are planet earth and planet earth is you so above, so below, feeling this beautiful red light moving through your room and grounding this energy down into the earth, past your root, past the floor, into the soil, all the way connected to Mother Allowing yourself to come back into your body now. Coming back to earth. Merging the veil between the spirit and the physical. Awakening and activating higher states of consciousness. Breathing in and breathing out. With every inhale coming back into your body, with every exhale letting go, inhaling back into your body. Exhaling, letting it all go. Bringing yourself back into your human self with a more evolved, awakened soul and higher consciousness. Bringing your awareness to who you really are, who you've always been, who you will always be.
bringing back your soul essence, your spirit self, higher consciousness, greater awakening back to planet Earth and inhaling this newfound awakening and exhaling this outer earth so every person can awaken back into their true form. Breathing in and breathing out. And starting to bring life back into your body, wiggling your fingers, your toes, waking up your body, stretching up. Notice what you can heal. Notice what you can feel. Moving your hands through your body. Notice what you can taste. Notice what you can smell. And finally, opening up your eyes and notice what you can see. Welcome back, beautiful souls. Welcome back. Welcome back to planet Earth. Come back to planet Earth in higher states of consciousness, awakened more to your soul, coming and bringing heaven back down to earth. Thank you everyone for joining me in this consciousness expansion, placing your hands at heart center, Closing down your eyes one last time. Taking a deep breath in. And on the exhale, bowing your head. Namaste. For my soul recognizes your soul. That we are one soul in many bodies. Let me know in the comments what you experienced, what you felt, what you saw. Thank you so much, everyone, for awakening. I love you. Thank you, 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 Julie. Thank you, Nicole for those beautiful donations. Thank you for doing the work. Thank you for awakening on this planet at this beautiful heaven's cross. Thank you for coming deep into your soul. Thank you for allowing me to guide you. Thank you for allowing me to lead you. Thank you for allowing me to awaken you forever. Thank you so much, everyone. I really see you and I appreciate you. If you're new here, please make sure to follow me. If you need anything, you can find me. My name's Jenna Rose Gennetti. I am a spiritual teacher, a leader, and a love coach. I'm here to bring more love to this planet, to awaken us to deeper states of love and more spiritual connection because it is my belief that we are love. We've always been love. And love is spirit. Love is consciousness. Thank you for allowing me to guide you. You can message me here if you guys need anything. You can find me on any social media platform. Just look up my name, Jenna Rose Gennetti. The best way to connect with me is through Instagram or Facebook. Um, and I have a lot of stuff that goes on. I do everything from one-on-one -on -one coaching to group coaching, where I have courses, programs, meditations, and you can find me on YouTube. I do a whole lot. So if you just type Jenna Rose Chinetti in, you will find me. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. I love you. I appreciate you.
Um, I do have to go now. So I apologize that I didn't get to the question and answer. Um, but if you have any questions, please, please, please feel free to reach out to me and I will answer those for you. Don't be a stranger. Um, and I will be scheduling another live here soon. So I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. Thank you for the donations and the love.